Hello and welcome back to my Steam library. Today we're playing Children of Morta. I am hoping that's how you pronounce it. Press any button. Uh, you'll be able to play online with a friend if you sign in. Would you like to accept sign in? No, yes, I will. Uh, list of updates. Okay, there's a whole bunch of updates there. I don't know what any of them are for. Family trials? No. Uh, main story. Play the town of the Bergson family. Sure. New save. Hard? No. Uh, let's just go with normal, thank you. Oh. Okay, that looks like a desolate wasteland, if you've ever seen one. And the mountain exploded and proceeded to destroy everything in its path. Oof. Savage. Hello Mama there. Awoke. Oh. Startled. A cold sweat clinging to her. She gathered her thoughts. Very pixely, I like it. Aged wood creaked, echoing through the quiet rooms. She lives in a big house. Near the house stood a shrine to Rhea Dana, goddess and daughter of the land of Rhea and a being of comfort. Margaret sought answers. But the goddess did not speak. There was only the faint whisper of something dark, something hungry. the tree that I saw at the beginning of the game. Uh, looks like it. The old seer's bones felt the weight of their age as she climbed. The only thought on her mind, has it begun again? Hey, isn't that the mountain in the distance that exploded? Looks very peakish. Try and get a peakish like a pyramid. Constructed by aliens, I got the pyramids in Egypt. Now I'm kidding. John's mission would be a simple one. He was to investigate Rhea's greatest shrine. His mother presented him with a fresh divinity shard. The truth From of his your brother came a newly sharpened sword. His wife gave him a kiss, and his daughter's hugs were full of reason to return home safe. Okay. Still don't know the full story behind this, but, uh, Hopefully it's somewhat explained through uh, this great dialogue. Uh, I can move my character with this. I'm gonna attack with that one. Shift to shield. It's a dash button. Okay. Not bad. And I can pick which direction I attack in. It doesn't look like there's a stamina for that. Okay, can I hit, hit the bird? No, I can't hit the bird. So... Does if I just press space... Okay, just dashes me in... The direction I'm not looking, but the direction I'm facing at the time. So, even through my WSD. Alright, okay, I get it. Surely there's gotta be some fiends Rhea, to kill. A land long forgotten. A place of unimaginable beauty. Was. Uh, seems to be floating rocks now, more than anything else. The save point? I'm assuming that's a save point. It first appeared as sludge given life, 
slithering creatures, small and vile. Dungeons is a sort of tech foes. He's sorry, I can understand. Yeah, enough. Can I attack the slime? No, I can't. Yeah, I'm just gonna sit here and swing. The arc for this is quite large, so I don't have to worry about being like surrounded by them. Okay. I'm assuming it's probably going to tell me that you can use your shield to defend yourself because there'll be another slime thing that shoots a projectile of sorts, no doubt. <laughs> I imagine. That's just usually where most tutorials go when they teach you how to use like your character's items and such. All that. Oh, this poor rabbit. Oh. Hello. I get it. So the other bar that's underneath my character, the blue one, is my shield. Interesting. Okay, that's good to know. Evade. Uh, yeah. Oh, evade takes the right time to avoid incoming damage. The evade bar under the character's feet shows when they can evade. I didn't want to use that, like to. I didn't want to use it, but like it's praise to continue and it dodged me straight into it, which is kind of an annoyance, but I got my health back, so at least that's something. For him. So apparently I can stun lock them, which is nice. Hey! Stupid slime. Okay, uh, can I use a controller in this game? I think it might be better. Let's find out. All right then, that away. So there are no uh, controls other than mouse and keyboard. Safe point, no doubt. Oh no, there's a whole bunch of them. Can I drag? Well, I was gonna try and like a wall bring them over. Impeding further progress. A battle was certain. Uh, John is a special ability. Use the shield to block incoming attacks. I, I know you can do that. Okay. Take that. Uh, oh, I can't pick up those and store them. That's unfortunate. If to interact. By using the divinity shard the itself the corruption abated leaving the shard cold in hand dark in need of life oh okay can't go that way so what caused that like abyss slime stuff to spread around so far gemstones greater chest require a gemstone to open hmm gemstones found different places like an animal corpse Speaking of which, the shard grew warm, humming softly from the harnessed energy. The shard grew warm, humming softly from the harnessed energy. You said that already. The tears ignition. Just let me. Someone's speeding down that way. A uh, new codex entry. Hmm. A divine grace, a powerful item that aids you with a buff. I mean, I could get to burn things. Maybe. I don't know. Before him was now one more dangerous than those that came before. Okay, this one doesn't look like we can stun it. Did I? Oh, I leveled up. Nice skill point. Uh, gain XP. You kill enemies when you reach a certain amount of XP. You gain a skill point, you can use skill points, okay, blah, 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 blah. All right, cool. I really wish it didn't come up with all these tutorials. 
Unlocked ability, blah, blah, blah. Heaven Strike. I want to see what it does. Call swords down from the heavens upon John's enemies. I right click to use. Okay, it does 150 damage on level 1, does 120 damage on level 2. Shield of Thorns. Melee attack is take damage of with John's shield. That's a pretty good one. That's not bad. Increase max health to all family members. That's pretty good. Guardians, range, crit, and might, slam shield, shield dash, uh, no quarter, heaven's grace, last stand. I'm assuming you uh, get a small health back and come back to life for a brief moment of time. She is blessing. Father's passion. Interesting. Level 20, a long ways away though. And I also noticed that my health leveled up when I leveled up. And there's also, oh, can I check the corpse? No. I also noticed that my health, I got my health back as well. When I leveled up. Oop. Hello, goat. Do you have a, a shard that I can, no, guess not. Goblins, a familiar threat, albeit farther out than usual. Okay, what's their attack speed? Let's stop. Oh, shit. Uh, use secondary attack. I wanted to avoid getting hit by that. But I still got hit anyway. Okay, that's not bad. So, that does that and a few other things. Okay. I suspect I'm going to be using my left shift a lot. Inherently violent and ill-bathed, the goblins were an unfocused but constant threat. Prick. Anything over here? Anything of interest? Or was it just these dudes chilling by the camp with the overturned square pot plant? Probably. Was oh, that an owl? Oh, it looks like an owl. They can be scary sometimes, and then they can be cute. Uh, anything in it new? Magnificent, but dangerous. A land of love found and of love lost. Okay then, more floating islands. Hello? Anybody out here in the creepy, creepy forest? Some pillars have fallen over. You know what would have made this game great? Is the ability to cut these things down to size and they just disappear or just fall on the ground and then you no longer interact with them. But, you know, still a pretty good game so far. Before him was sacred ground, Ooh. left untouched in days gone by. In the days gone by, it left things untouched. Oh, I can walk straight through that. I thought it was like a wall that I couldn't the go through. Then calm and collected. The shock of his heart skipping beats was concealed in expert fashion. Who's this? Lily, not Before my wife. Him stood Linda, his eldest daughter, oh. bow and quiver at the ready, determined to do her part. Stink. Uh Electro. Uh, that's basically like the apocalypse, but literally a copper or something like that. Uh, divine relic, create a temporary aura that damages nearby enemies. Sure. Uh, Q. Oh, she's going with me too. Awesome. Yes, I'm well aware of the fact that I can do that. Oh, the problem is that it's blocking my, uh, how would I put it? My visual cues for when people were attacking. Because a lot, a lot of information is going on there pixel wise. But that, the cooldown for that's pretty quick though. 20 seconds, I think it was. I don't trust that. Before the Guardians were not beasts feeding, but monsters consuming. 
destroying others. They're corrupted and distorted, creating even more hungry husks. I'll marry those two. Or three, actually. Or not. Oosh. Damn slimes. They're very generous on the old half drops. My daughter, no. Well, that was easy. Both father and daughter gathered their thoughts. Their hearts heavier than before. How would they explain what they had witnessed? Simply make it the sludge was creating, I don't know, wizard people to the ancient make things. Tree I don't know. Had been cut down. Together, father and daughter described the horror, the creatures dripping with decay that slithered into bodies stuck between life and death to bolster their ranks. Grandma Margaret confirmed what they all feared. It was the corruption. A cruel entity spoken of only with hushed voices. An ocean of darkness that flowed from the top of Mount Morta. And the Bergson's duty was to stand against this devouring deluge of death. Kevin was also eager to do his part in the family's fight. Especially when his older brother Mark was off somewhere. He was as much a guardian of their mountain home as any of them. She stood. If they were to reach the summit and destroy this evil, as the Bergsons of old had done in the past, they would need the assistance of the sanctuary. Okay. Given to the Bergsons by Rhea herself, the sanctuary was a gateway to the mysterious lands around the mountain. Margaret pointed to the huge crystal at the center of the den, revealing their next task, to activate it and open the way to the source of the corruption. And once Rhea's three spirits are gathered on the grounds, the only gate to the top of Mount Morta will open in this chamber. By himself, or with the assistance of those who loved him, John needed to gather the three spirits from their lands. Without them, he would not be able to stem the flow of the corruption. Okay, uh, you can access online play in the options tab. Okay, well, you can access online play options in the online tab. I just didn't see the online. Uh, control? E. Online invite? Okay. E, uh, you can access blah blah blah. You can everyone to disable online play. You can invite your friends and join on co op mode. I wonder how many people can join in co op mode. Return home. I can go to the caves. Let's go to the caves. Of Anaya must be here. Or she needs to be found. Oh wow, so I've got John and I have Linda. I think I might go John because he's got the sh he's got the sword and the shield. I mean I do like playing as the archer. But I saw four, fourteen, four Jeez always, what is this? Ah, I can reset abilities. Cool. I don't think I'll be resetting the abilities anytime soon. It's too good not too good to have that. That one would be too bad either, but I have to wait. Okay. Uh, hmm. Or it, it's one of those things where I can only pick one from each level, which would be kind of weird. 
kind of sad, but eh. All right, uh, let's start, shall we? A celestial shard chipped directly from the ancient crystal in the sanctuary. It would be the Berkson's lifeline, a tether to pull them back home before death's fateful whisper. Okay, I see how it works. I was wondering what would happen if your character died, like, story-wise. Silk Cavern, one out two. The winding tunnels oh, the here come the spiders! Correct, the phobia warning for you. Lingered in the air. Spiders. Oh, there we go, spiders. Linda told herself it was only target practice. As she readied her bow, they must find the spirit deep within the caves. All right, looks like my daughter's just took it off. I'll see you later, Linda. Bye. What's this? Gets. Ooh, shallow. I get gold. Interesting. All right, so these larger webs. Or not. No, they don't. Okay, that's just part of the attack. Right. Uh, down? Anything in this gap? No? Okay, never mind. Map. I see. Alright. Okay. Tooltip. No, I don't need tooltips right now. Come here. Thank you. Damn spiders. Puss off. And skeletons, apparently. Crooks. What does that 12 mean? Plans. Slain 12 enemies. Sanitize. Oh, so you get a, like a little combo thing. Okay, the skill point. Nice. Ouch. That thing exploded and I didn't realize. What did that do? Oh, I don't know what that did. It did something, but whatever. Okay, uh, tab. Hmm. I got a level. I need two levels for that. I need. Eight. Oh, I need to be the level for that. Okay. Uh, sure. Let's get the, the thorn shield. I think that's that'll be useful. Is that a? Oh, cheeky bastard! Whoop! Oh, shit. Okay, so that's just a trap. I can't really do anything much about that. Gold, thank you. Oh, look at that thing. I can't do anything about that. And there's nothing down here. Interesting, okay. That thing is death trap. That thing's also a death trap. Uh, that one doesn't look like it's got things around it. Can I destroy it? No, I can't. Uh, oh, chest, hello. Inside you, some gold. Okay, I'm right. Hmm. A checkpoint system? Everyone was encouraged to take part in a game of destiny. A prize awaited the fortuitous, but there was only pain for the unfortunate. Right, okay. <laughs> I chose poorly, apparently. Ugh, shit's sake. That doesn't help me in the slightest. I'm very weak right now. Uh, anywhere else on the map I can go? Oh, I can go up from there, okay. What I need is some health. I'm very low on the old heels. 
Oh, I can smash things in this game. Okay, why can't I do that before? Open sesame, hello. Hello bugs, hello creatures of the night, of the deep, dark and dingy caves. Swinging left, right and center. Let's press you past that. So you can actually do a separate attack for the uh... That, interesting. Oh my goodness! Oh, I need health! I don't know what I picked up, but uh, I think it was health. Projectile bastard. Get out of it. I need to, I need to be using my secondary ability a lot more because I'm not using enough. Woo! That would have killed me. No, I did good. Okay, uh chest. Hello. Open up. Life. Oh, health. Yes, give me that. I need that. It was already low enough as it was before. Traps piss off. Linda, darling, where are you? Where did you go? Okay, these spikes that way. Life. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Piss off. Yes, leveled up. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, I didn't fool me. I didn't level up to full though. That's unfortunate. Uh, level four, age vicar and Chris John's armor. Increase the max health, health of all family members. This will be a good one. Same blood. I, that was just too good not to have. And then, unless you rage, you become tearing vulnerable to your thought. So attack is. No, I don't think that one's worth it so much. Anything in the pop parts? Some money, some gold. Okay, nothing here. Stupid eye thing. Whoosh! Realize there's a whole bunch like literally right here. I don't know. I was gonna say it's empty, but it's not. All right. Uh, hello. I bet you there's like some big monster spider here that I have to deal with. What's this? You have found the finish room portal. Press and hold T to settle pull back to it from anywhere on this floor. To here. Uh, hold on. Can I get back? Get. I didn't know there was the exit. I want to go back, and there was something I could have checked. Oh, you. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Uh, let's just carry on my I guess. It's a bit unfair. Oh, you're new. I want them to come round so I don't get shot by the whatever they're shooting I'm assuming it's poison no doubt it's off jeez Louise this place is just swarming with them all okay I realised that when I use that ability, I am making myself vulnerable to attack. Come on. Hey. 
Oh, I got the 20. Uh, yeah, I couldn't get to the next one. Too many ads. I'm gonna hurt myself again. So I used the ability to get myself hurt. Okay. Jeez, I'm getting a lot of gold from this. What am I gonna do with this gold? What can I do with this gold? Can I upgrade my weapons to so deal more damage? You have found someone like a blacksmith. Or your brother's a blacksmith and you can work on getting your weapons better. I, I, I don't know, maybe. <laughs> I can imagine that the guy who's doing the voice acting for this is trying to go for a Jeremy Irons voice. Because that's, that's who I'm thinking of whenever I hear the narrator talk in this game. Hello? I see there's a whole bunch of stuff down there. How do I get to that? Uh, up and around? No, I'm just gonna wait. Oh, come on, you spiders. Piss off. Yeah, this, this is the right way. Come here. Come here. Oh, thank you. What have we got in this chest? I want your gold. Nice. I don't have more gold. I want, I want health. That's what I need. A heal potion, please. Oh, hello. What's this? Raging beast. Deal a massive amount of damage to yourself. Eh, oh. Yeah, let's not press R. Because that's not ideal. I don't want to lose the health that I've currently got. Seems counterintuitive, if you ask me. Uh, and the doorway. Brilliant. Hello? I. <sighs> hate that thing. Ugh, I'm very weak. Run away, run away, run away. Jeez Louise. <sighs> that was a fight and a half. I almost died. Wait! <sighs> Didn't see that thing. Come here. The oh! Began to this slip away, stupid! Wondering if this was death was warmer than they expected. Ugh. That's unfortunate. Almost got past that too. Well, that's a shame. It's a stupid thing. That thing blew up in my face. I think enough healing. I'm using this as like a roguelike. I'm going to have to go back into the same place multiple times. They gasped for air as the celestial shard brought them back. A sensation no hero could become accustomed to. Okay, I'm back in the house. As she heard John and Linda describe their foray, thoughts rushed through Margaret's head. The corruption had amplified the creature's wickedness, and no longer were they part of the harmony, the Rhea. With the new threats looming, Margaret asked Ben to prepare his workshop. He would have to take charge of enhancing the warrior family's weapons and armor. I called it. I called it. I knew it. It was the brother, the older brother that would enhance my weaponry. Because I, I suspected he would be a bit too old. Uncle Ben, oh, oh, Uncle Ben can upgrade and enhance the Burgesson's uh, equipment. Uncle Ben reached out to the familiar warmth of the forge. If they were to reach the top of Mount Water, their equipment would need to be of the highest quality. Ooh, Uncle Ben uses Morph to upgrade his entire family's weapons and armor, including their main attributes. These are the family main attributes. 
Attribute descriptions, take the attribute, blah, 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 improves, burgers, blah, 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 health, okay. Uh, uh, cancel. I don't want to upgrade it right now. I'd rather choose something else. <sighs> okay. Uh, hmm. Okay, oh, these are locked. That's unfortunate. Ooh, movement speed does sound healthy. I do like having the extra movement speed, but attack is... I need the attack. And 200, yeah, why not? More attack, the better. Always is. Oh, that'd be nice. Oh, this is like a little, like, hub overworld thing. You don't have to like control your your stuff or anything. Interesting. There's a library. There's chapter sleep. There's the workshop. Pretty sure there's other things I could probably interact with like outside. Oh, this is like a trading area. Cool, cool, cool. Wait, can I look at the um? Will it keep going or will it stop? No, I think it's it, it, it's slowing down too far. That I can probably talk to her and to see what she's she's doing. Oh, there's my um my mother, Margaret. Tree. Tree's infected as well. Oh, what's this? This looks like a chemical workshop for potions and such. Then I don't know what that is. Maybe some special hidden talents. Assassin's Creed Black Flag, someone's playing. Hmm. Let's see who. Alright then. There's daughter Linda. It's probably my other daughter. Mark's out there somewhere. Library. Oh, okay, so this is just a thing that shows you. Um... That's a good one. Tars Ignition. Alright, so that basically tells me everything you've gotten so far. What's this? When light faded from the sky and most were fast asleep, Mary would write about her family, immortalizing them for future generations. Oh, I see. I'm assuming that's my son over there. Uh, I'm I'm assuming this I'm playing in the role of the father. In this case, because I've been playing as John, and he looks like he's asleep. Cool. I like this. This is a good game, but this will definitely be better co-op. I wonder if I can get some of my other friends to play and I might make a series out of it. I don't know. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of my Steam Library. This has been an interesting game. Oh, cool. I like it. Uh, it's like a repetitive roguelike to some extent where you dive in, you get gold, you die, or you beat the boss, upgrade your weapons when you come back and then do it all over again. That's kind of cool. I like that. I like that a lot. Yeah. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to watch up. Look out for my other videos that I put up. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.